Also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV. Good morning, my check one, two, three. Coming up on Studio 10, Chef Nino from Rouse's is in our kitchen. He's making bacon wrapped stuffed turkey breast. Plus, the University of South Alabama is gearing up for football season. We'll see what changes are in store for the upcoming season. And Profile by Samford is a weight loss program developed by doctors. We'll hear some patient success stories next. This one is really, really cool, you guys. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us this morning on Studio 10. I'm Chelsea Sayasai. Yes, happy Monday. Happy to be here. I'm Gianni Navarro. Excited to have our girl back for yes. this Monday. She's <laughs> filling in for Joe. But a lot happened over the past weekend, especially in the entertainment yes. world. So we're going to jump into that. The Best in Country Music honored at last night's Academy of Country Music That's Awards. That's right. Hosted by Keith Urban and Mickey Guyton, the 56th Academy of Country Music Awards took place at the iconic Nashville locations, including the Grand Ole Opry and the Ryman Auditorium. The audience was made up of socially distanced healthcare workers. Cool. The biggest award of the For yeah. sure. Well, one thing seems to never change. Taylor Swift continues to break records. Yeah, no shock there. Swift's pre-re-recorded album, Fearless, Taylor's version, 
debuted at the top of the Billboard 200 chart and now holds the title for the first re-released album to ever hit number one. Wow. That's right. This is Swift's ninth number one album and three of those came out in the last 12 months. For female artists, only Barbara Streisand has more, more number one albums at 11. Wow. So while full of nostalgia with songs like Love Story and Hey Steven, Swift's re-release also includes six new songs which were never released before. Now, are you a Swifty? Are you a big Swifty or kind of just I, I like some of her songs for sure. She's yeah. very talented and I love what she does. Yeah. So, yes. I'm a big um, classic Taylor Swift mm -hmm. fan, so I am here for this re-released album. Hey Steven is such a cute little teenage love song, um, but I'm really excited for her. You know, there's Definitely. been a lot of drama with oh, the, yeah. the album and her older album. So excited for her and no shock that it hit number one. Of course. Not surprised <laughs> at all. Oprah is going on tour, at least virtually. That's right. Oprah announced a five event virtual tour to discuss her book, What Happened to You? Conversa Conversations on Trauma, Resilience, and Healing. Her co-author, Dr. Bruce Perry, will join the tour. The book, What Happened to You, will be released April 27th. It deals with the impact of our past and how to start healing. Book tour dates run from April 27th to May 3rd, and each features a celebrity guest like Rob Lowe, Dax Shepard, and Kristen Bell. Yep, you can attend the virtual tour by purchasing a ticket and joining through Zoom. Yeah. Oprah is kind of unstoppable too, especially with this virtual book tour. I know a lot of folks will find a lot of healing in this new book, but especially with her interview series that she's had, mm -hmm. of course, we all know with Harry and Meghan, but she's also interviewed major stars like Chip and Joanna Gaines. So Oprah and Taylor Swift. There's nothing she can't do. Yeah, nothing <laughs> really. she can't do. So I'm excited to see her career continue. Definitely. One of the biggest voices in all sports will get his shot to become the next Jeopardy host. That's right. According to the New York Post, Fox broadcaster Joe Buck is in contention for the permanent job to replace longtime host Alex Trebek. Buck has been the voice of the World Series for Fox since 1996, also calling Fox's top NFL game each week and multiple Super Bowl since 2002. Wow, his episodes yep. are expected to air this summer. Jeopardy has been featuring a wide variety of celebrity hosts. Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers finished his turn last week. So this has been a lot of fun. Did you watch yeah, that? I haven't, but that was so interesting to me to see him <laughs> do that kind of stuff. I you know? know, I thought so too. I, I believe um, that he has hosted Jeopardy a, a couple of times oh, before, okay. just once or twice. Um, but to me, I think he did a good job. I I'm interested to see who will be the permanent host if they choose to go that route. They may not. Definitely. It's definitely big shoes to fill. I know. <laughs> and uh, speaking of shoes, we got oh, a very expensive pair. We do. Kanye West's $1 million Yeezy shoes could become the most expensive sneakers ever sold. Wow, I can't imagine paying that much for shoes. The rapper first wore these Nike Air Yeezy 1 prototypes during the Grammy Awards back in 2008. Now, so the bees Auction House has valued the shoes at $1 million. A dirty pair of shoes for $1 million. Crazy. The auction company says that value comes from the brand's cultural impact. Kanye West's apparel brand helped, become a, helped him become a billionaire, according to Forbes. Yeah, the sneakers will be displayed in Hong Kong starting Friday before being auctioned later this month. So, wow, $1 million. What? I think it's probably less of the shoe and more that Kanye West wore them, but still. Yeezys are, ex I don't have a pair. I, I know people either. who do have a pair of Yeezys. And although they are the shoe to have right now, um, they are very, very expensive. expensive. And that's expensive. So imagine one million dollars. Yeah. Shoes. So if you buy that shoe, <laughs> just just let let us know because we'd yeah. love to see them. You're lucky. You can share a special dining experience with your cat thanks to a new cookbook. That is true. Fancy Feast has released a cookbook for humans. Recipes are inspired by its petite single serve cat entrees. Cute. The company's in-house chef created 12 recipes, including chicken and ramen with tomato, honey, butter sauce. Wow. And white fish and asparagus. Fancy Feast says the human meals are meant to accompany your cat's food so you and your pet 
can dine together. That's so cute. Fancy Feast Petite's entrees come in three flavors, salmon with spinach, ocean whitefish with tomato, and grilled chicken with rice. Mm. This is so cute because I know animals always watch you eating and they want what you're eating. So now you can enjoy a meal together. You can eat a meal together, especially with your... Now, my cat, as we know, if you're a Studio 10 viewer, she's not the <laughs> nicest. Um, but I, will, I do think she would share a meal with me. I feel like the cat would eventually kind of crawl over to what you were eating. Mm. So you don't want to be stuck, to, stuck with no food but exactly. cat food. Exactly. You know, I think you haven't met Chef Nino yet. I have we said not. that before, but he would definitely make a recipe for, <laughs> for you and your cat. He's making something so yummy today, you guys. It's bacon wrapped Cajun mm. stuffed turkey breast. Check out the recipe. Welcome into the kitchen this morning with Chef Nino from Rouse's Markets. Take a look at that right there, y'all. That is looking good. What is that hunk of meat thing this you got going on on that plate? Cajun stuffed bacon wrapped turkey breast. There's the shot right there. Look at that. Wow. And I wanted to whet your appetite, literally, so you'll pay attention to what we're doing. Now that I have your attention, new at the Rouse's are these all-natural turkey breast tenderloin by Butterball. Turkey breast tenderloin. How about that, huh? I like that. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know about it, so I'm going to show you some things to do with it. All Thanks right? for showing us something new. Yeah. yeah I, it means a lot, Joe. What did Thank you, you say? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, hey, Louisiana boy coming out. <laughs> I got a, got a turkey breast word. tenderloin. So good. Good for you too. Yes, yes, yes. So healthy. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make it unhealthy. There we go. That's what All I'm talking right. about. There we are. No, we're gonna Cajunize it, okay? Well, you're gonna, but you're gonna add some, you're just gonna make it even more proteiny. That's right. Proteiny. Proteiny. Is that like a martini? <laughs> Huh. Yeah, it's it's actually you haven't heard of that town in Italy, Proteiny? I know you lived there for a while. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, look, there, these, there you go. These are the turkey breast. Aren't, aren't, they, aren't they beautiful? You can. Are you okay, sir? Yes. Did I'm you good. hit that wine earlier? Yeah, I'm just yeah. joking. All right, so we do have some Rouse's. Uh, uh, this is our Cajun green onion sausage right here. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to stuff it with that. And then we have our Rouse's on Dewey, and we went ahead and cut some a couple of sticks of it. Okay, right, we're going to stuff it with that, and we're going to show you how to do it. But first, what we're going to do, we're going to hinge the turkey breast. Hinge. Hinge. Okay. Show we're not going to cut means. it in half. We're going to almost cut it in half. So I'm, I'm going to put it on the side right there. Okay. All right. And this is called hinging. Hinging. That's right. So, not, so this is two new things I'm learning today. That's right. See, you're just cutting it almost all the way, but you don't want to make two separate pieces. Okay. We are hinging it. See what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Or butterflying it, whatever you. Uh, butterfly. Okay. I've butterfly. Heard that. Yep. That's right. And uh, I am using an absorbent towel because I want to make sure it's kind of dry going in there. Yeah. All right. And we're going to hinge. You know, I was listening to the doors this morning, and uh, I had to oil them. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> All right. Look at that right there. We have our Rouse's on Dewey. Mm -hmm. We have our Rouse's green onion sausage. We're going to take this out of the, the casing, and we're going to stuff it. We're going to put this uh, on Dewey in there, wrap it with bacon when we come back, and show you how to, how to cook it properly. Come on, baby. Light my tenderloin here only with Rouse's Chef Nino. We'll be right back in just a bit. You're getting good, man. Thank you. You're going to have your own show one day. <laughs> you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. You really don't, and I love that. <laughs> Just buckle your seatbelt, everyone. <laughs> that looks delicious, though. It was yummy, and we'll finish the recipe during the show today. Perfect. Sounds great. And football season will be here before we know it. That's right. The University of South Alabama is already gearing up. We'll see what's in store for the upcoming season and something new to look forward to. All the details on Studio 10 after this break.
suggested that uh, back in the day, I suggested that she go to South Alabama to begin with. She's like, ah, I don't know, whatever, whatever. So she went to Auburn for uh, a year, I think it was. I think she went there a whole year. I think she did. Hey, how are you? Yep, so we are going to look there first. Okay. And after that, you're just looking at me and we're having a conversation. Beautiful. Um, so we're just going to be talking about the season tickets on sale. Mm -hmm. um, I'll talk about the new stadium. We can mention that. And then the new select AC feature. Mm -hmm. What's that? It, it's uh, fans can call in. Happy Monday and welcome back to Studio 10. The University of South Alabama is gearing up for football season in the beautiful new Hancock Whitney Stadium. This morning, Athletic Director Joel Erdman is here to tell us about the season tickets on sale and the new select A seat feature. Good morning. Good morning. Thank We're, you for having yeah, me. Yeah, we are so excited to have you this morning. We know you guys have been so, so busy. A lot of folks are really excited about this brand new stadium. Well, we, we're excited and uh, we're encouraging people to come out and secure their season tickets and uh, they can do that in numerous ways. You can actually purchase online at usajaguars.com or you can call 4611USA uh, or we have a program going on with select a seat and a select a seat program uh, you can call in reserve a time that our account executives will meet you at Hancock Whitney Stadium and you're you will be actually toured to look at the selection of seats that are still available for sale so you can sit in them, uh, see what the view looks like, see where it's in relation to the concession stands, the restrooms, the field. Uh, it's a great opportunity for someone to come out and see their seats, not just their seats, but mm -hmm. also their parking. That's right. I am so excited for this because I, I just went to the stadium to see the Reese's Senior Bowl. It was gorgeous, mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful, unlike anything I've ever seen, and it's brand new. So I know you guys are super excited, and you actually just got to kind of get a taste of what this football season will look like with the spring game this past weekend. We did. We were uh, fortunate to get one half in before Mother yeah. Nature <laughs> shut us down Saturday. But uh, new head football coach Kane Womack and his staff uh, have built a lot of anticipation, a lot of excitement. Uh, also a point of focus with Coach Womack is to connect with our community, uh, uh, encourage people to become Jags and to jump on board. And, and we think the, the future is very bright. Uh, the season opens up on Labor Day weekend as we host Southern Miss. Mm -hmm. uh, so that will be a sellout. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, we are preparing to have full capacity. We're not allowed to announce that yet. Uh, we still have to get down the road a little bit yet. But if we're allowed to have full capacity, we will be surely prepared and selling with the intent of doing so. That's right. So we got a lot of viewers at home who are just really big Jag fans. So we, are, of course, are looking forward to football season. But you can watch games right now, too, with baseball and softball going on. Sure can. And uh, both our baseball and softball programs are in the midst of their conference season, both battling for Sun Belt championships. Uh, our women's tennis team just finished runner-up yesterday for the conference championship, so a tremendous season. Just came up a little short in the championship game. Uh, our women's golf program is in the Sunbelt Championship. 
as we speak. Uh, and so our spring sports are in full gear and uh, selling season tickets, selling sponsorships, selling parking for Hancock Whitney Stadium in the 2021 football season. We are so looking forward to that. The Jags are unstoppable. You guys, the University of South Alabama is such a great school to go to if you're looking into a college to, to for folks who want to go ahead, buy season tickets, want to go buy and see a game. Where can they find more information? They can at usajaguars.com uh, and also call direct to our ticket office 461-1USA uh, and, and our account executives will reach out to you uh, by phone or in person, whatever people are comfortable with, comfortable with and prefer. And then at any time, really, if you want to come to the stadium, Hancock Whitney Stadium, and look at your seats, uh, we're happy to do that. Really cool. Thank you, Joel, for coming on the show today. And of course, we'll have the full rundown on our website. It's fox10tv.com, right under the Studio 10 tab. A big congratulations to you guys. Looking forward to this baseball softball season wrapping up in the fall for football. Thank you. All right, Gianni.